principal question is saying, do I contact my surgeon and go back to the hospital or do I see my GP or do I go to my local A&E? Um, now, the way the question's phrased, saying, do I contact my surgeon and travel back to the London hospital? That suggests that person doesn't live in London. So this first thing I would say is always go to a surgeon and a clinic and a certain hospital, which is close to where you live. Because, you know, traveling back to London things, if you're not in London, is a bit of a palaver. Now, obviously, we're based in Birmingham. Um, so um, I would say that if you have a problem, the first person to call, this is for me, if it's if it's on, on my clinic, is to call the, the surgeon. Yeah, call the surgeon. And we will give you a sheet after you've had surgery with contact details on it. And I think most people would. Uh, usually, um, well, not usually, the, the hospitals will always have 24 hour cover. And they have an RMO, a resident medical officer, who is on site 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. So I would say always contact the hospital or the doctor who did your surgery. And again, I'm just talking about me. You got to, if you're not having it done at our clinic, you, I guess, you've got to ask for your doctor or your surgeon what to do. But my my um, take on it is that I don't really want you going to A and E, and I don't think you probably want to go to A and E because you might have to wait for ages and all this sort of stuff. But also, you'll see a doctor who doesn't know you, who may not know what you've had done, may not know what surgery you've had done, um, certainly won't know the nuances of it. Um, similarly with your GP, you know, your GP may not know what um, you know what is involved with a breast reduction or a breast augmentation or whatever surgery you've had done and so um, it is much better to come and see us some and see the surgeon the nurse, you know we're doing it all the time we will often see people who've gone to the gp who said you've got an infection give them antibiotics we're looking and saying that's not infected it's just a bit red it always goes a bit red that's fine um it's not a disaster it's fine you know if you're on, on if you're on uh, antibiotics or whatever but it's you know often you 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 may not need them or you may need them when you haven't had them so it's always best to come back and see your surgeon they are the best person to know what you've had done and to advise you as to what how best to proceed not only that i think if you've had surgery you yourself probably don't want to see be seen by a a, sur a, a surgeon or a doctor who doesn't know you you don't want to go to a and e with a whole load of people who've broken their arm and goodness knows what's wrong with them and you know it's not really a place you want to go so you're much better off going back to the private hospital giving them a ring as I say, a resident doctor will be there. Uh, they'll be able to advise you if it's just phone advice. Often it is if you need to um, be admitted or have any procedures or anything like that, then it's just so much easier if you're in the hospital. Um, once you go to an A&E, once you go to an NHS hospital, particularly if you get admitted, it's really hard to transfer you then to the private hospital because they worry about MRSA and all this sort of stuff. And they have to hospital, hospital transfers are real nuisance so you're not saying well if you've just gone to the private hospital to start off with we'd have just admitted you straight away it's a lot easier to just walk into the private hospital and get readmitted than to go to the a and e because once you get admitted to your local nhs hospital it becomes a real palaver to do an into hospital transfer because they worry about uh, particularly like mrsa and things so in general terms phone your surgeon it may not be your actual surgeon it may just be the hospital or um, the, the ward that you're on they usually be given a number to phone but it's always best now having said that phone them and sometimes they say look you know if you've had a tummy tuck or something like that and you've got you feel all fluey and you feel rough and there's maybe something that doesn't sound like it's related and your tummy is absolutely fine and you came back for the dressing and it was all fine you know it might not be unreasonable to go to your gp because you might have flu-like symptoms you might have a cold you might have tinnitus you might have you know um i don't know some other problem urine infection or something some other problem maybe not related to your surgery so there may be circumstances where it might be reasonable to go to your gp but i think it's always good to ring your clinic first or ring your your doctor first and they might say to you you know what if you're down the road from the gp and we're you know an hour away why don't you go and see your GP and then let me know and I can always liaise with the GP and stuff like that. So it's always good to keep us in the loop. Keep us in the loop. And if it's something that's not obviously related to your surgery, we might say, you know what, go and see what your GP says. And then you can always come back and see us if um, if the GP's concerned that it's something to do with our thing or if the GP's not sure, then you can always come back and see us. But certainly if we're far away, that you can do that. But that's why I always say, look, don't, if you live in Birmingham, don't go to London or Manchester 
or Prague or Turkey or whatever for your surgery, because then it just gets difficult if you, you know, if you do get a problem, then you do end up in A&E. Similarly, if you live in Prague or Turkey or London or Manchester, don't come to Birmingham for it. Have it done where you are. You know, um, there's good doctors all over the, well, certainly all over this country and all over the world. There's good doctors everywhere. So you, you know, really, you know, often you can find a good doctor local to you. And it just life is so much easier if you have it done local to you because you just drop down to the clinic, drop down to the to the hospital and get checked out rather than driving an hour or two hours or whatever it is to see um, them.